Good morning and welcome to City Hospital from Guy's and St Thomas's. Today, why the hospital's arranging a private viewing for the teenager who's been banned from every cinema in London. I like the films very much, but I can't go into the cinema with loads of people because it tends to make my tics worse. <laughs> it's like a rage of fire going up into your brain and it makes you... <laughs> um, do, like, tics. Thanks very much, Nadia. Now, teenager Matthew is so out of control that he fractured his own skull. So why is the hospital rolling out the red carpet for him? <laughs> it's like a rage of fire going up into your brain and it makes you <laughs> um, do, like, ticks. 18-year-old Matthew's family first noticed him having occasional odd mannerisms when he was seven. Over the years, they got progressively worse. Eventually, the ticks were diagnosed yeah. as Tourette's. Yeah. As he reached his teens, uh, they became very, very severe in, in such a way that Matthew was actually beginning to fall over with some of the more major ticks. So it's had a great impact on his life in so very many ways. When I first met him in 2003, he, he, was, he was very, very uh, low. And life wasn't really looking very good for a teenager. Dr Lynn tries to have his consultations with Matt in a quiet place in the hospital gardens, as it helps to keep his ticks at bay. What proportion of the day do you think you now feel on the <laughs> at, calm, the at the calmer side? At the end of the day, yeah. We all of us experience thresholds. You know, are we going to get up to empty our bladders? Are we going to wait until there's a suitable moment? Uh, are we going to go into a crowded cinema um, or into a performance once it started and in, you know, interrupt people, or are we going to wait? And, and it seems as if in Tourette's, the Tourette sufferers are constantly um, experiencing thresholds that they have no control over. I can't control it at all, but when there's crowds of people, <laughs> um, I have trouble keeping it in. Matt is an old friend of Pete Bennett, whose time on Big Brother helped make life easier. Seeing a mate on Big Brother... <laughs> ..made me really, like, really nice feeling, and seeing a mate on TV is pretty fabulous. Every Tourette sufferer is different, and Matt's involuntary tics have a more violently physical aspect to them than many other sufferers. He's actually suffered from, quite uniquely, a number of injuries that normally would not occur in, in such a condition. I fractured my skull <coughs> about four or five years ago. <coughs> mm. Matt's tics are so physical that hurting himself isn't the only problem they bring. <coughs> People don't... <coughs> I think I'm a different person. <coughs> they don't! Don't, don't see the real me, it's like... <coughs> they see the Tourette side of me. <laughs> and... <coughs> they don't, like, like me, or they see a different part. He can always bring out the funny side of things, and I think because of that, people find him quite magnetic as a person. I like going to see my friends, I like going to... <laughs> to pubs and stuff. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I like shopping. I'm a shopaholic. I've got a girlfriend called Charlotte. I, re I love her and <laughs> she's really supportive. Charlotte isn't the only calming influence in Matt's life. Art calm my ticks down as well. <coughs> I do splatter paintings by Jackson Pollock. <coughs> I just throw the paintbrushes. It's funny getting all the paint over here. He's actually sold some of his work, and his work is quite good. Gosh, what's, what's, what's the current price? Well, I, we can discuss the rates later if you're interested. <laughs> Action films are another passion. I like the films very much, but I can't go into a cinema with loads of people because it tends to make my tics worse when there's loads of people and I can't sit still. Fortunately for Matt, twice a week, a little-known department at St Thomas's kicks into action. The Medi Cinema, complete with nurses and bed space. He gets to watch a proper big-screen movie without fear of being chucked out for shouting. Yeah! 
No, I don't know what this but it's supposed to be very good. It's an action film. And I love action films, it's really cool. Yeah! Um, they can be raised. Um, they can be, a lot, a lot of people can be raised. Today, Matt's on his way to the only movie theatre in London that will let him in. The specially equipped Medi Cinema at St Thomas's. He's settling down on the floor so he doesn't kick the people sitting in front. Matthew always used to enjoy going to the cinema when he was smaller and then when his tics worsened it became an impossibility for him because his tics were too loud, people would complain, he used to kick the back of the chairs through another of his tics in an involuntary fashion. Up on the wards a team of volunteers are recruiting the most unusual theatre audience in the country. I don't know if you've heard of us, Medi Cinema. Yeah. We run a free cinema in the hospital. It's free for you and your friends and family. We get you down there and get you back, either in bed or in a wheelchair. Do you fancy coming tonight? Um, on a bed. <laughs> Generally, a great surprise to people to know that there's a cinema here at the hospital. Patients can sometimes, certainly if they're long-term patients, feel a bit institutionalised and get institutionalised in hospital. And we take away some of that institutionalisation for them. And we give them something normal and nice to do. <laughs> Matt has been able to see films over the last three years at the Medi Cinema, along with his mum and brother. Coming to the cinema here at the hospital enables Matt to come somewhere and feel comfortable in his own skin. He can come to the cinema and not have to worry about anybody else except for coming along and having a really good time and do something that the rest of us really take for granted. I, I've been going there five or six times, seeing um, Star Wars. All I've got to do is just watch it. And they put the covers on the floor and my mum brings some covers. <laughs> so I can relax and watch it whilst I'm down on the floor. The Medi Cinema shows two new releases a week, but instead of usherettes selling popcorn and hot dogs, there are nurses on hand with oxygen and crash equipment. So you enjoy the film? The film was excellent. It was really nice having my family there watching it with me. For Matt, it's a social lifeline. And no matter what the patient's problems and worries were when they went in, for the last two hours, the magic of the silver screen has allowed them to be forgotten. When people leave the cinema, they're normally smiling, um, no matter what film they've seen. And that's all the thanks anyone needs, really. Well, what a fantastic lad, and we wish him all the very best for his future. Now, the